DWs like Ableton have always had the ability to instantly shape automation curves, and that's made me, a Logic Pro user, super jealous on so many levels. I'm all in on Logic Pro, but I do feel like this one feature has always been missing until now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to present to you something that you've never seen before in the known world, in the unknown world, across all stratospheres and all multiverses. This is the Automation Matrix Template. Work smarter, not harder. For the first time ever, we now have an automation pattern library template for precise automation in Logic Pro. It streamlines your workflow and enhances your creativity. This is going to be perfect for anyone that's looking for new sound design options and anyone that's looking to just make their workflow just a little bit more efficient. Let me show you how. This template comes with pre-configured automation curves and intuitive layouts for seamless music production. We will provide instructions on how to import the template and it is compatible with Logic Pro 10 and Logic Pro 11. When you buy the course, I'm gonna throw in a free video bonus called All Things Automation. This is a seven video course. It's gonna really help you out with your workflow. Okay, so how does it work? Let's say you're working on a session and you think of a creative sound design idea. You can simply open up the template and import your automation shape of choice. So you might be asking yourself, why now? Why did you create this? Well, I searched every corner of the internet. I didn't find a single thing. And so rather than waiting for the Logic Pro team to develop this, I just decided to do it myself. So let me show you how I created this so you understand the attention to detail, the love that I put into this so that you could benefit. So this is the automation matrix template. You can think of it like an automation library of patterns. You've got all the various shapes. I'll just give you a quick demo of what everything looks like and then I'll show you the real world application. First things first though, you have to understand that we are going to have distinctive patterns for both audio track types and software instrument track types. So that distinction needs to be made clear from the jump. So you can see we have various shapes utilizing volume automation at the moment. We can change this parameter very quickly I will go through a couple of different demos, but here we have a couple of sawtooth shapes. We have automation over the course of eight bars, crescendo, decrescendo, all sorts of good stuff. Let me just give you one audio example to start. So let's say we're listening to something like this. Just to give you a bit of a demo here, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in here. I'm not gonna change the tempo necessarily, so I'll click on don't import, and let's take a listen. So some of you might be thinking, well, why don't I just use a tremolo plugin? Well, not only do we have loads of other shapes available to you, but we also have the unique ability of controlling various automation nodes for example let's say i wanted to take these two drop them halfway same here and then i will drop these two and now i get full customization over this specific pattern let's go there are situations where just that light touch is really going to help with your mix some of my personal favorites have to be the ride fader and the random fader. This is a trick that I learned from Bobby Osinski, so I do have to give him credit. This is a phenomenal way of getting something stagnant in your mix to be able to sit well within the stereo field. But what if I didn't want to use volume? Maybe I want to use another parameter. No problem. Let's find a source here. Let me drop this into the audio one bar triangle pattern. So at the moment you can see I have volume selected, but if I hold option and I continue to hold option while I look for another said parameter, in this case, let me go with high cut frequency. You will get this dialogue message. 
do you want to convert or copy the automation data? Obviously, if I convert it, we no longer will have the volume data set. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to convert. If you press on copy and convert, you will have both volume and the new parameter in this case, high cut. So let's go ahead and convert. All right, so you can see if I click on the automation parameter menu, we only have one parameter that's being used. And let's take a listen. All right, and now the beautiful thing is I can start making little adjustments here. Let's say maybe I want to create a little bit of a slope here. So we have a resonant peak. All right, let's take a listen. So here's a real world application. I'm inside of the session. I'm gonna click the key command F to go to the all files browser, and then I will locate the template. I've spoken about how to create a project template in another video, link in the description. But right now I'm gonna open my template and I'm gonna look for the curve that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and just do four bar crescendo, scroll to the right, click on automation, and then we're going to replace the current automation. Now, as I've said before, this is going to assign volume, but maybe you want to change it up. Maybe you want to add some distortion or something. I'll create an automation line. And then the trick is, again, hold option, find the parameter that you want. I just showed you a very fast way of hacking that. And then you convert the automation. You have a significant amount of power now because you can shape this how you will by holding option i can select all of these top nodes and i will have this automation raised by 50 percent over the course of time So just last thing before I go, this product is going to be on sale. If you want to capitalize on that, go ahead and click on the link in the description. This is a way for you to support the many years that I've been serving here on YouTube. And it's a way for you to support my continuing and developing work. So let me know what you think about the product. And also if you find ways to perhaps improve it, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much as always for supporting the channel. Do hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe and I've got more content coming soon. Lots of surprises. God bless everyone. We'll see you later. Bye.